In this demo, we'll address photos. The most likely way to use photos is to scan an ID. And then you see if no photos have been taken, you'll be able to add two photos. So if you press a uh, photo button, the camera activates. I could take a picture of the entire ID. Uh, you just tap on the uh, screen to take the image and press OK to confirm it. That saves that ID image. I could take another image of the person's face, for instance, or get a close up of their photo. But in real life, I could take a picture of their face, hit OK. And now those two images have been saved in the record. You can see them here. If you tap on them, you can replace them, view them. You can actually scroll in and see more information and hit back. Another cool feature is the ability to view photos on the scanner. So you can view recent photos. It loads them all up. You can view them in a grid view. So if I tap this, I can see the information from this record. You can see the two photos just taken. Uh, this is a great way for you to uh, review the night's images and try and identify individuals who may be uh, caused a problem. Um, and that's a quick overview of photos at this point. Another feature we have is called free picks. Uh, there's two buttons for free picks. One is here, which just launches the camera. I could take an image of, a, of an ID that may not scan, for instance. Um, I also have it on the main screen. So if I'm scanning IDs and somebody comes along with a passport, I can just tap free picks and again, take an image of someone's uh, photo. ID, and now I have proof that that person has been scanned. Let's quick overview of free picks.